At the beginning of August, I was invited out to Snake Discovery for their enclosure build off. And in that video, I mentioned that they initially had invited Tarantula Cat, but she was unable to attend. When she declined their offer, they invited me to come. And someone left a comment underneath my video saying that they're glad I went instead of her because I make better enclosures. Now, Tarantula Cat saw that comment. She read it and was not very pleased. So she challenged me to a one on one Tarantula enclosure build off. And the rules are pretty simple. We both both use the same enclosure, we gotta make it for a tarantula, and we're posting our videos at the same time. Once these videos are out, you watch my video, you watch her video, and there'll be a link down below in the description that will take you to a poll where you can vote on either my enclosure or her enclosure. So let's go ahead and get this competition started. So the enclosure that we're using is this Tarantula Cribs large cube enclosure. It's 12 by 12 by 12. And I think that I'm gonna make mine for my Nandu Chromatis. She's fine in the enclosure she's in, but it is getting a little bit small and she's just a beautiful species. So I really wanna be able to put her out on display. And I think this is gonna be an amazing enclosure for her. It has these strong magnets on the lid, so I don't have to worry that she'd be able to push it open. Now, if you wanna get one of these enclosures or really any of the Tarantula Cribs enclosures, just go to their website, tarantulacribs.com. I'll have it linked down below in the description. And if you use the code TCollective10 at checkout, it's gonna save you 10% off your entire purchase. Now, I just cut out this little piece of uh, cork bark. It's like for a cork bark background, but I uh, cut it out to fit in there perfectly. And what I'm gonna do, uh, is use some hot glue. You can also use silicone, that's probably the best. You just gotta make sure you use 100% silicone. But it takes like a day to cure and there's a lot of fumes that I'm doing in my tarantula room and I don't have a day. So I'm just gonna use hot glue and we're gonna squirt a bunch of it on this. That'll be good enough. It's really just to kind of hold it into place. go. Nice and snug. And I'm going to put a little bit of detail on the top here. I'm going to put some sphagnum moss to kind of hide where I cut it. Got my green sphagnum moss here. Pull some out. Now I'm gonna be using the BioDudes Terra Aranea. People ask me all the time, what's the best substrate out there? What do I use in my enclosures? And I haven't made a video on that or really answered that question because I'm trying to find the best possible substrate. But I think this might be it. I really love this substrate. It's great for bioactive enclosures. It's also good for just moist enclosures or arid enclosures. So far it's been working really well, holds the burrows nicely, looks very naturalistic. And I don't know, I'm just overall very impressed with it. So uh, let's go ahead and get this in here. And you can see just by looking at this substrate, I mean, it's got little pieces of cork bark, it's got little twigs, it's got some charcoal, it's got sand, some peat moss. I mean, it's got a whole bunch of different ingredients. It looks very natural. I'm a big fan of it. And I'm gonna dampen it down a little bit once everything's all set up, so it will retain some of that moisture, which the Nandrochromatis does like. It is uh, from Brazil. It's a little bit more of a tropical environment. Now, I didn't take the background all the way up to the top, because I really, I just wanted to make sure I still had those ventilation holes up here. And I'm gonna slide, kind of put a little bit of a slant to the substrate, so it's deeper in the back, and more shallow in the front, but it's not that big of a difference. Uh, so next up, we need a hide. So we got a nice big piece of cork bark here. Find a good place for it. Right back here in the back. Take some of the substrate and put it back in the corner. So I like it kind of gives it, blends it in a little bit more. I'll ramp it up to the hide there. I may need to actually add a little bit more substrate now. And this is a tarantula collective enclosure, so I gotta put in a skull. Went out to uh, the Halloween stores today, found this nice little skull. It even moves its mouth. And we're just gonna put that back up here in the corner. 
kind of bury it a little bit. And then one way to kind of help blend in, I'm gonna put a little more substrate behind it. But here I've got some sphagnum moss, also from the Bio Dude. And if you wanna get some of this substrate, the Terra Arnea or the sphagnum moss, I'll leave a link down below in the description to the biodude.com. And if you use the code Tarantula10, which is a little bit different, but almost the same, it's gonna save you 10% off your entire purchase there as well. So we're just gonna break off a little bit of this, kinda let it mix in with this, the substrate. And then I'm gonna shove a bunch of it back here in the corner right around the skull. And that kind of helps it blend into the background a little bit. So we've got some of this kind of a whitish, yellowish sphagnum moss. And this will also help really kind of hold in some of that moisture. And then just to give it a little bit of texture, I'm gonna mix in some of this green sphagnum moss. Kind of blend all that in. And I really think I'm gonna need more substrate. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of this back in there. a lot better. Now these I got at a local store in the Halloween department. I think it was like a hobby store, like Michael's or something like that. And they're essentially like little succulents, little plants that I use in a lot of my enclosures, but they've kind of sprayed them black for Halloween. So I'm gonna use some of those and just kind of shove them back down in there and this is a different type of plant but it's the same kind of idea kind of like the the black goth style especially with the non chromatis <laughs> i think it'll it'll go really well i'll put that in the foreground now you can save a lot of money buying your plastic plants from hobby stores, but one thing you always gotta look out for is you just smell them. That's, I just smell, look, if there's a real strong chemical smell or they're sticky or anything like that, they got really sharp points, I stay away from them. But a lot of times they just smell and look like what you would spend two to three times, sometimes four times as much if you bought it from a pet store. All right, so for the water dish, uh, I've got one of these. This I also got from Tarantula Cribs and we're gonna set that right over here. Kind of looks like a, a nice little wooden log. I'm really digging that. And to add a little bit more texture to the whole thing, I've got this little mix of essentially just gravel and sand. And it's just play sand. You don't need to get anything like super expensive or fancy. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, kind of sprinkle it on here. And then you always gotta mix it in just a little bit to kind of help it all blend. And finally, I've got some biodegradable leaf litter that I just flung all over the place. This is also from the Bio Dude. Just gonna take a little bit of it, kind of crunch it up, make it look like a nice fall forest floor. Anytime you're decorating, you don't wanna overthink it. I mean, the trash is gonna move all this stuff around anyway, so just kind of throw it in there, let it go where it may. All right, I am really digging this. I'm liking the way it's turning out. I guess now all it's left to do is to move the tarantula in here. She's really webbed up this enclosure nicely. When she was much smaller, I hardly ever saw her out. But since this last molt, she spends most of her time out in the open and has really webbed this up nice, so I can't wait to see what she does in here. Oh, a little bit of a threat pose. Go in the cup. No, go in the cup. Go in the cup, you little nut. All right, there she is. You can see she's not happy. <laughs> Just lay on your back like that, that's fine. We're gonna get this out of the way. All right, now let's get her moved in here. I go. All right, there we go. There's some hair. Don't like that. Let's get some footage of this angry girl. We'll just put the lid on there. Listen, these magnets. Oh, I got it upside down. <laughs> now I'm gonna let her calm down and settle in there a little bit, then we'll get some more footage. 
she is not happy right now. But if you like my enclosure, you like the way I set this up, then be sure to vote for me. The link again will be down below in the description. I'll also have links to Tarantula Cribs and the Bio Dude, as well as the discount codes in the description as well. Now I'm looking forward to seeing Tarantula Cat's enclosure. I don't think it'll be as cool as mine, but you know, she sounded pretty cocky when she was talking. So she said she got something cute set up. So, you know, she might win. I don't know. I don't know what she has in store, but please participate and vote and let me know in the comments which enclosure you like the best. Now, if you want to see the enclosure I made for the snake discovery enclosure build off, I will link those videos right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs>